back to Gypsy Rose Papery. Today I'm going to do a quick little video of my junk journal pouch. Uh, some people use this as like a pencil case or journaling pouch. I'm just calling it my junk journal pouch because that's primarily where I journal. Someone had asked me if I could go through the stuff that I keep in here. And I was gonna like get it all cute and organized, but I'm like, I don't think anybody really wants to see that. They kind of just want to see how it is as is. So let's just jump right in. So in the front, I uh, had shown all my pins. Uh, a lot of these are like Disney pins. So I would say practically all of them are, except for this one right here, which I forget where, I got these. I think these were from Etsy. And this one was one that uh, Priscilla gave me. And then I think I have another one. Yeah, I have another one back here. And I forget where I got that one too, because I'm terrible at that kind of stuff. Um, but I'm sure they were, they're all available on Etsy. And then so this is a Delphonics pouch. And I got this pouch after seeing My Life Mitts using hers and I thought that would be perfect because I'm sort of a magpie for journaling supplies so I thought that would be a good fit and plus it had spaces for pens which obviously I need uh, but it's a Delphonics pouch. You can find these on Amazon, that's where I got mine. I can link it down below. The colors are really limited when I purchase mine and I think that was mostly because it was like all the rage and like all the TN and journaling girls out there were getting it and so I really wanted black but I could find this color only and then I think they had like uh like a beige color which wasn't gonna wasn't my thing so blue was the closest that I could get to what I wanted it has a total of 15 pockets, which I thought was really important because I'm definitely a pockets girl and it's just really big on the inside. So on the front alone, you have four pockets and three uh, pen little, I don't know what you call it, pen slots. So I keep the pens that I use the most. So I keep like a, a friction pen, which is like one of my favorite pens. I'm a pen snob on top of all of this. I love to buy um, pens off of Jet Pens. Uh, probably my next favorite site apart from Etsy and eBay. And then I keep my hand lettering pen because this pouch also I kind of use her when I do Happy Mail because some of the stuff in here I, I use like in Happy Mail. So it's got my brush pen so I can hand letter names and such. And then in this pocket here, I just have this little set of stickers and I already broke into it. But basically they're stickers that are shaped like stamps and they're botanical. Uh, obviously for journaling, these would come in really handy or even for Happy Mail. So that's what I have in here. And I'll just put that right back in there and I've got all kinds of strings and such hanging out. In this one, I have my little uh, fussy cut scissor and this is also from Amazon and it was like a set of two, like two fussy cut scissors, but I really like the crane design and I love like the iridescent color of it. So it's a great scissor, it's super sharp. And then in this big pocket here, I have an assortment of washi stickers because I love me some washi stickers. And then here I think I have the same. Oh, I kept the packaging from my Disney pins because they make great washi cards, like for samples, if you wanted to send that to friends. So whenever I buy my pins at the park, I always keep the, oops, I always keep the packaging and it's just the cutest packaging ever. So I have that in there and then surprise, I have more washi stickers and here are my whales. These are the ones that I showed in my flip through. 
so those go snugly in there. And then back here, I don't have anything in these bottom two. Oh, no, I was wrong. I do have some more washi. Well, washi roll as opposed to stickers. And I had another wa Oh, there it goes. I have another washi here, which is almost gone. It's one of my favorite washies. I love black floral. That one was in there. And then in this big pocket, I have my sticky crafter's tape. Highly recommend it. It's great for pictures, like to glue pictures to the page. I'm having a hard time talking today. I keep some extra coffee dyed index cards just in case. And these are some scrap paper scraps that I turned into tags. And then I had some stuff in the book that was really kind of making it super lumpy uh, that I wasn't really using. I was just keeping in there because in the case that I wanted to use it, but it was just creating uh, a journal that was pretty much impossible to work in. I couldn't really write or do spreads correctly because the book was all lumpy. So this was Happy Mail that I had in the book, but since it's just assorted die cuts and such assorted die cuts and such i um, am keeping this in here and then this is just a script stamp that i keep for when i want to do some light script stamping in the journal so here i keep all of that and i could probably i might as well just organize right since we're here since we're here since we're doing this already I might as well reorganize and then in here this puppy is full to the max so <laughs> i guess i should take out all this from the middle so okay so i've kept a leftover napkin in case i wanted to decoupage in the book these are all pieces of ephemera from uh from the actual book that I took out because it was getting really lumpy. So I just kept them in case, you know, the mood strikes and I wanted to use them in the book. So I can keep them nice and secure in the pouch and they're not taking up space in the book and making it sort of hard to work in. So I have more washi stickers these are all strictly um botanical though the other ones are more like fantasy themed like uh, celestial type these are just straight botanical ones which i adore and i'm hoarding and i'm kind of like trying not to use too many and then here i have some extra scraps and digitals that i got from a friend and a little note and then this is stuff that I have not found a place for. It's personal um, memorabilia, I guess. This is from uh, when we went to the Atlanta Botanical Gardens, which were gorgeous. And I've been holding on to this now since, hmm, let's see. When was this? This was <laughs> April of 2016, guys. Yeah, yeah. So I want to do a spread with this, even though technically the journal is for this year, but in a way like just commemorate this uh, memory because it's really special to us. So I'm holding on to that. I have some extra scraps that I don't want to just trash because they're really pretty. So I have that as well. And I have another uh, Dick Bosch book page that... Kim gave me so that was all in the middle I'm gonna keep it out and that way I can maybe reorganize as I go back in here I just have a flower stamp because I was doing a lot of like spring inspired spreads and so I felt like this was perfect but as you can see I've used it only once I think because it's barely barely inked and I don't clean this well so and then I have my little stapler. I freaking adore this little thing. It's a powerhouse. You literally just touch it, like just squeeze and it like 
perfectly sta stables everything. So um, definitely would highly recommend this. And so I can link this down below and it takes regular sized staples. So those are from these two big pockets. And then on these, then I have two more big pockets. And so in this one, surprise, more washi stickers. I've got magical feathers. Here I have like sort of celestial type. And then here, I'm not sure what this is. This is like some kind of wintry type scenery with snowflakes and such. And then finally, in this pocket is my handy dandy jumbo glue stick, which I had to remember to snap into place. And then my hole punch, because whenever I turn like different scraps into tags, I need my hole punch and I tend to lose this. And since I've started putting it in here, I always know where it is. So I just have to remember that's this new home and I can always find it. So that pretty much covers it up for us or covers it for us. I'm going to not put this back in there because it's very chunky and spring is kind of almost over like we're almost in summer so it really is sort of not serving a purpose anymore in here i may replace it with another stamp i just don't know which right now uh, i think i will keep these little ephemera bits in this other pocket and maybe my botanical garden to make sure it stays safe. Well, my botanical garden ticket stuff, not an actual botanical garden in there. Oh my goodness, I'm having brain fart moments left and right. And then these guys can go right back in the middle to stay nice and safe. And that is it. It's pretty simple, but I highly recommend this pouch if you are like a drug journaler and you are always just trying to keep track of where all your stuff is. This thing is huge. Like you could literally fit so much stuff in here, but at the same time, it's not so overwhelmingly huge that you couldn't just grab this, you know, if you wanted to go junk journal somewhere that's not at home, like maybe... I've had a plan to do a junk journal with me at one of the parks. That would be fun. This is totally like, you could totally take this with you, put it in a bag, and you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed my little, what is it, de-emptying or emptying and or reorganizing of my Delphonics pouch. And I hope you guys have a great afternoon. I love you so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!